Hello guys, welcome to the first uh, GTPVM EOC uh, Monster Killing Guide PVM Guide. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, Glacials, um, which just last night received an update to make them. Um, well, not harder to kill, but uh, a little bit different from what they were. So, first of all, I believe there was a 3k damage cap put on them, which uh, is designed, I assume, to slow down killing because they were much too fast to kill, from what I understand. Um, right now I'm going to go through requirements for killing them, uh, as you should see on the screen at the moment. Uh, there is a requirement of the quest Ritual of the Majorat, which is um, required to access the Glacial Cave. And also, I recommend at least 75 magic, 95 if you have it. Uh, for fire surge, or fire wave, or fire surge. Uh, going to set up, I recommend using Void as it has better range defense than things like Virtus or Gano. Um, uh, you can use those armors if you prefer. Uh, it just means you'll be taking more range uh, range damage. So if you look at my setup, I've got Void Mage Helm. Um, elite Void Knight top and robe legs, and Void Knight gloves, as well as a Soul Wars cape. You can use a God cape, which does give a magic bonus. I prefer the Soul Wars cape for the prayer bonus. Uh, Arcane Stream, Ring of Wealth. Um, this can be swapped out with a Seer's Ring or Seer's Ring Eye, or um, an Onyx Ring or Onyx Ring Eye, or I guess a Berserker Ring. Uh, Rage Fire Boots, um, the best magic boots in the game at the moment. Um, Ganondome boots, Virtus boots um, also work. Staff of Light, uh, if you've got a Wanden book, that would probably more, be more effective as they hit faster. Um, but that's optional. And Reverence, uh, just for the extra prayer again. Um, inventory setup, I got my teleport, um, because that puts me right next to the fairy ring. Um, healing Aura Scrolls for the unicorn. Um, fire runes and air runes for uh, fire surge. Overloads, prayer renewals uh, for an hour. A couple of emergency brews and prayer, and also a spare unicorn. Okay, so the best method for killing these um, involves using uh, the soul split curse because the uh, magic and range prayers don't um, prevent enough damage to be really useful and the attacks don't do enough damage to uh, prevent you soul splitting, so I'm just gonna overload up prayer renewal and uh, go from here. Okay, so from here on out it's actually a non-live uh, commentary because I'm terrible at uh, commentating over my PVM. I don't pay enough attention to what I'm saying and I lose track of it very quickly. Um, what you should be seeing on the screen right now is myself uh, killing glaciers. Okay, using the method I described uh, that I'll be describing in a second. First of all, um, I made use of a lot of the basic, well, most of the basic abilities, um, that being rack and impact, which combo together very well. Um, combust, which is a damage over time ability, and does a fair amount of damage in conjunction with all your other attacks. Um, and finally, I use the uh, the range ability uh, escape once the minions come out to get uh, further away from the glacial. Um The chain ability is useful when the minions come out because it can get the enduring on you uh, instantly um, without having to attack it separately. And from there on out I kill the minions um, in the usual fashion which is sapping, enduring, uh, unstable. Uh, after that it, it just go back to killing the glacial, um, and uh, a very useful ability is the Asphyxiate Threshold ability, which does a lot of damage. Wild Magic, um, likewise, does a lot of damage. Um, both, both are thresholds, and uh, after that, it's just using the basic abilities to KO the Glacier. Um So I just got a few uh, sped up kills going now, so you should be able to see uh, myself killing the Glacier's fairly rapidly. Um, it's not as fast as it was before the update last night, which is a little bit annoying, but you gotta live with it, I guess. Uh, still very quick kills. They have increased their life points. It 
last night I was getting something like four point uh, five point four K XP per kill, now it's six point two I think. Uh, and one thing I forgot to mention, uh the dragon breath attack is very useful on the minions, on the glassites. It uh, does a great deal of damage, especially to the sapping and unstable. Um, I do use things like freedom and anticipation to keep my adrenaline bar up and being able to use thresholds. I don't really need to do that too much in the recording. Uh, I'm going to cut over to a live recording now, uh, showing a, uh, another method for killing glaciers. So for this method, um, it's not much different in the initial stages of killing the glazer. Uh, however, what you are going to want on your uh, action bar is the metamorphosis ultimate ability. Um, once you kill the initial stage of the glazer, um, you get onto the minions and you use asphyxiate and wild magic, um, both of which we are used to kill the glazer in the initial um, part of this video. Uh, instead you use them to kill the minions in this uh, portion and asphyxiate destroys the sapping glass. I screwed up a little bit on the first kill, I didn't get far enough away from the glaciaur and so the enduring was a little bit overly strong. Um, oh, once you have killed the minions, uh, the glassites, what you want to do is switch um, on the metamorphosis ultimate. You should have ultimate um, a full adrenaline bar by now. Um, turn on metamorphosis and you start to kill the glacier again and it uh, it tears, it destroys, it is it, quite crazy really. Um, I found it very easy to complete uh, the kills with this method. Uh, I did find this out from a guy named um, uh, Bucks Fizz. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, he's um, a machinima video maker. Um, whose videos I've been watching a little bit lately. Makes very good videos. Um, I recommend you subscribe to him. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Um, it was from him that I actually learned about this method. Uh, I saw his video. I'll provide a link to that as well. Uh, and you will see during this video that the damage cap, uh, supposedly 3k, does not actually exist. Or if it does, it's not at 3k. Uh, it's easily hitting over 4,000 uh, with several hits. So, um, I just got a couple, I uh, cut another couple of sped up clips uh, using the same method. Um, I actually forgot to overload. Uh, I ran out pretty halfway through the second, or yeah, the second kill. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, see you later.